Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to our mornings with Brian and Tyler. Today we're in Proverbs chapter 12, verses 8 and 9, Tyler. A man will be commended according to his wisdom, but he who is of a perverse heart will be despised. Better is the one who is slighted but has a servant than he who honors himself but lacks bread. All right, so uh, this, is, this is kind of an interesting uh, exchange. You've got... What we've looked at already about the the words and the wisdom of the righteous and the words and the wisdom of the evil and we're continuing that in verse eight that uh and and this one is something to to think about uh just the general lack of common sense that when you come across someone who has basic good common sense you're like yes because anybody can come up with wicked stupid thoughts and that doesn't take much, you know, and, uh, and someone, but a person with common sense, I don't know, you got, you got to like it. But then verse nine is kind of interesting, Tyler. Um, it's better to be hated and have a servant than to have all kinds of self-love and esteem and not even be able to get yourself a sandwich at a free lunch. And people, what? Yeah, that's that's kind of the point. You may think you're the greatest thing since sliced bread, but you can't get no bread. But but because you think you're the greatest thing since sliced bread, you might look down on someone else. But they're doing well enough. They got a servant. They got food to eat. Because just just news flash: if you have a servant, you also have money of some kind. Food to eat, yeah. And so, <coughs> this is this is one of these truths that people have missed out on in Christianity. Um, can I learn something from even a wicked billionaire? Yep. I can learn how to run a business. He may be very skilled at running businesses. You say, well, he got it because he was evil. Just so we're clear, there is a cap on how well you can do just because you're evil with an evil plan that you can get people to buy into if you're not good at actually managing and running things. But a person who has nothing can sit back and go, well, I've got my holiness. Okay. But you got nothing. Yes, because holiness is everything. Yeah, no. True or false, Jesus had all the holiness that anyone ever needs in one lifetime. Mm, true. True. And Jesus had stuff. No, Jesus had nothing. Have you read the Gospels? Jesus had his own house. Jesus had a treasurer over his ministry funds. He didn't lack food. He didn't lack anything. When he sent his apostles out, what did they lack, Tyler? Nothing. They lacked for nothing, but they also had brought nothing with them. They brought nothing with them, and they lacked for nothing the entire time. So they were on board with God's plan, and God blessed them. So if your holiness doesn't bless you, maybe it's self-holiness, not God's holiness. Just a thought. And he said, I don't know if I agree with that. Well, you're not arguing with me. You're arguing with this. You can be self-important and have nothing. But you look down on the guy who has a servant? No, no, no. That's why Proverbs. You know, some people are like, Brother, how come we're only reading two or three verses a time in Proverbs? Some days only one. Because you're supposed to mull it over. A chapter a day in Proverbs is great. But it's also good to go through one or two proverbs at a time and turn it over in your head and, and look at it and go, hmm, maybe I haven't been as whatever as I thought. And uh, you have some other thoughts on this one? No, sir. All right. Are you feeling self-important? Not really. Good. Because you and I, neither one have servants. Nope. So we need to get servants. 
That way, if people don't like us, at least we have servants. Mm. Because then we'll have food. Apparently. Yes. So, I'm Brad Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And Lord willing, we'll see you back at lunchtime.